Hi, my name is Anne Atkin and approximately six years ago I was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease which is, it was a shock. You went to be told you have an incurable progressive degenerative neurological disease and you're just thinking about retirement and having a wonderful time. It was just, it was awful. I had six months of going around for a while doing the why me, which I'm so embarrassed about. and. Then I decided, well, this is ridiculous. I've got to do something with my life. So I decided to become a volunteer for Parkinson's Victoria. And I did, I became their librarian. And then they realized I liked talking. And so I became a Parkinson ambassador. And I love doing that, going around and talking to any sort of group from Rotary to, to retirement villages, um, to rehab hospitals or whatever, talking to staff about what it's like to live with Parkinson's. And then I founded Painting with Parkinson's because as an artist and an art teacher, I'm passionate about art and what it can do for people. I joined Anne's group in 2009 uh, after I read about it in the local paper and um, it's brought a whole new world to me. I enjoy the painting very much and this was a sample of the very first lesson I attended and this is my latest one and I think you can see a bit of progress and that I've picked up so much from Anne and really enjoy being part of the group and meeting here every week. Yeah, my name's Kevin Adamson. I've been going to the Parkinson's Painting Group for about four years. One of the original me members. And Ackerson does a terrific job. It's a really lively group with a lot of different things. All, all very friendly, have a good time. It's a tri tri she does a, and does a terrific job and so do all the other people and help us. It's a very good thing. Well, my name is Graham Corr. Uh, I'm a member of the Painting with Parkinson's group. come down each Wednesday morning. For come from Vermont, so I come quite a distance to come here. find it very therapeutic and very helpful to me. I'm in the early stages of Parkinson. Uh, prior to my retirement, I was Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Education at the University of Melbourne. And I've discovered, rediscovered my interest in art. Uh, the last time I did was 60 years ago, and uh, now I'm back into it and I'm thoroughly enjoying it all. It's been a great, great benefit to me and help get your mind away from the, the little things that bug you with, with Parkinson's. Anne, well, Anne's been very helpful to, to me personally and to the group. She's uh, had Parkinson's for a number of years and she knows what it's like to lose the little things that you come naturally to you. And Anne's been very helpful in helping us all redirect our energies to the things that are beneficial to us. Social connectedness is vital. People with Parkinson's are very isolated. I mean, you know, you can be dribbling, you can be have problems speaking. So, first 20 minutes is meet, greet and eat and we've all put on weight but it's good fun people we, we talk and it's lovely to be able to talk to someone who knows exactly how you're feeling you can have a life with it you can live with it but you want to have fun you want to have you know you've got to get your optimism back and that's what I try to do and then just to top it off I decided to write a book about it and I published that um, earlier no, last year. Living and Laughing with Parkinson's, still available, and hopefully get the second one out next year, which is called Still Laughing. And yeah, life's pretty good. Parkinson's is not pleasant, and I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. But I got it, and you live with it, and you make the best of it, and I'm having a great time.